Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. We're going through the steps on how to set up and configure vMotion on VMware vSphere. So vMotion is the, uh, the, the tool that is used in vSphere to be able to uh, migrate VMs from one location to another, from a data store to a different data store, from one host to a different host, while the VM is still powered on. It's a fantastic feature, so which doesn't let you, uh, does, doesn't make you have to power down a VM to move it. Uh, you can easily do it through configuring a vMotion um, configuration on your vSphere. So to do this, now we are connected directly into an ESXi host in a lab environment, uh, but the steps are the same. You, you do it through the host on a host level, through vCenter, or through the uh, VSV client directly on a host as well. So what you wanna do is you wanna select the host and go into configuration and then down to the networking tab. Now what you need to configure is what's called a VM kernel port. All right, so this is a port that needs to be configured, uh, has to be enabled with vMotion and needs to be configured on every one of your hosts. So if you have say 10 hosts on your environment and you wanna be able to migrate VMs between any of those 10 hosts, you need to set up a VM kernel port for vMotion across each one of those 10 hosts, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're in this networking section in here. We're gonna be doing it in a standard switch and we're gonna select add networking. Now in here, you're, pre you're presented with two different options. You're presented with a virtual machine and a VM kernel. So these are virtual machine port groups or VM kernel ports. So virtual machines would be the, the, um, the port groups that you would configure where your VMs would live, right? You're assigning them NICs, you're assigning them network cards. VM kernel is used, uh, as it says, the VM kernel TCP IP stack handles traffic for the following ESXi services including vMotion, iSCSI, NFS, host management, etc. So we're gonna be using um, vMotion. So select VM kernel and next, we're creating a vSphere standard switch or you can use a new vSwitch or use the existing vSwitch. So as you can see from my environment, I've already got a standard switch called vSwitch zero. You can go and create a new switch a new virtual switch, or you can just add the VM kernel port to the existing switch. Either of the two options will work just fine. So we're gonna select this one just because we're using the one VM NIC zero. All right, so selecting use vSwitch zero, your options, as I said, may be slightly different. And next, let's just call it VM kernel vMotion. We're leaving the VLAN as is. Now in here, Use this port group for vMotion. You wanna make sure that you have that ticked. And next, you next wanna give it an IP address. Now vMotion, the VM kernel port will need a specific IP address. So make sure that you have an IP range set aside for vMotion, okay? So we're gonna leave it as that. I want my vMotion IP to be 70. Now obviously every vMotion um, port that you set up, for every VM kernel port for vMotion that you set up needs to have a unique IP address. So if you have 10 hosts, you could do this one as 70, the next one will be 71, 72, 73, etc. okay? Next. So you'll now see that there is a new VM kernel underscore vMotion with the IP address listed under my vSwitch zero. All right, and that is it. So that is the steps on how to configure vMotion, setting it up as a port group, as a VM kernel port group um, on a virtual switch in vSphere. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a whole bunch of more videos.